How do they truly feel about you right now? Let's start off with a tarot card. We have the Nine of Wands. We have Hidden Feelings. Unnoticed Obsession was at the bottom of the deck. So maybe watching you from afar. We have Mirror. Let's look at the messages cards as well. And we're going to look at lots more of all of these cards as we go through this reading. Their true feelings right now. We have, you have brought me such peace. So I see a huge change, okay, within your person. I feel a huge shift is occurring in terms of them opening up to you. I feel like your person was guarded somewhat with hidden feelings and the nine of wands here. This person, it may have been happening very subconsciously. I feel like they were going inwards a lot. This mirror to me is feeling like the hermit card. It says self-reflection, reflecting each other, being honest with self, wisdom, clarity, transformation, and shadow work. So I feel like subconsciously your person has had a lot of fears had a lot of doubts coming up recently in their mind and it's been distracting them from their intuition it's like this is like the deep feelings of the intuition of the soul that have kind of been locked away hidden away so your person they've been in hermit mode they've been behind walls um holding back somewhat they may not have consciously realized this, but I feel like they've been flooded with a lot of doubts. Um, but I feel that is a positive thing in terms of it's those triggers that are coming up as they are being released. Because I feel there's a huge transformation going on here where a lot of wisdom has come in, a lot of faith. Um, you could have come forward and you have brought them peace in their heart. This is the dove that is in the Ace of Cups that flies in. You've come in and brought peace to this person's heart. This is purity. This is like the divine message, the divine truth. Your person's had doubts about how much you love them. Your person, they've experienced a lot of heartbreak in the past. And so this subconsciously made them hide their feelings away, keep their heart locked up in a cage somewhat. Um, so a lot of introspection has come in. The peace, the truth of how much you love them has come in. It's, it's really finally integrated into them. This could be something that you have done, something you have demonstrated You've passed the test kind of thing. I don't feel like this person was um, trying to test you. like, um, But it's like if they had been, so to speak, theoretically, you would have passed all the tests. You have passed all the tests with flying colours. So this is much more security and faith in this love. This is powerful. Them, they're about to open their heart to you this is also them coming forward and it opening their heart expressing their heart to you and providing this peace the dove that comes into that ace of cups so your heart is going to be overflowing with this love this peace this truth as well their true feelings for you right now we have the King of Wands. So this is so much passion. This is so much fiery energy. I feel as though you could have felt um, distanced from each other, even energetically, you know, you may be in a physical separation, but you may have felt this somewhat even energetically as your person. And for some of you, this is mirrored. This is you're mirroring the same journey here and going through the same things, the same doubts, the same epiphanies, the same shifts. Um, so after this peace, this truth, this your person's found that self-love within as well. They know their worth now and so they're unafraid or they're a lot less afraid they're more fearless than before 
to open the door, to open that secret diary, to reveal their deepest feelings, their deepest desires for you because this person has a lot of desires with this being a fire energy. This is passion, this is chemistry and strength and manifestation. Yeah, there's been some sort of block. There was a, on your path, it's like you come up against a closed door somewhat in the past because of these fears it was like a no entry um and your person they've needed this time to go inwards to work through the knot i'm seeing like a knot and they had to work through it it's like working through their shadow and blocks and fears and having this self-discovery and love and light is replacing that they've done a lot of healing i really really feel like you have proved yourself to this person um, you are this firm foundation, they have faith in you, they have faith in this connection, and so this is the huge shift. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, I feel like definitely your person has been taking a, a time to pause and reflect and ask themselves, you know, it's like that you, you're both going forward so fast and so rapidly that it's natural for the ego to come up and be a bit like, whoa, 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 slow down. Like this person, they felt like um, things are so intense between you and they absolutely love this. Um, and they, they want to dive into this, have this um, deeper and deeper levels of union with you. They really, really want this and they love this. But as you, as you know, we all have the ego and the fears and it's like the subconscious fears were like a little bit like, whoa, 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 putting on the brakes. And this was them taking a pause and really reflecting upon your connection, reflecting upon past wounds and that may not even be from your connection. And they were like, subconsciously asking themselves what is the way forward do they continue to invest and plant these seeds um and i don't i don't feel like they had like any major doubts but they were it was just the fear like slowing things down and making them need to go inwards and work through their shadow a bit more before they could like fully proceed towards you without holding back i feel like this will happen in stages that um you and your person will likely come up other time in other times um up against some sort of fears or subconscious blocks and then the need to sort of pause for a while and observe and work through that and get clarity i feel like the clarity is coming in for them to proceed a lot more without holding back. Yeah, look, this is them ready to extend themselves towards you like a lot more. Even though this is the Ace of Pentacles, it makes me think of the Ace of Cups in this Halloween deck because it's like this, it, this could be like the cup and it's overflowing like the traditional Ace of Cups with so much sweetness. Your person has a really, really sweet heart. They are a sweet heart. And I feel like people have used and abused and taken them for granted. This is someone who is naturally very giving. And I feel like people, there's, I'm seeing like an image. There's another image in this deck. I think it's the Five of Swords or the, no, the Seven of Swords where, where someone is stealing other people's candy, you know. So, um, your person, they, they were subconsciously holding back because people have used and abused them in the past. And, and you know, that little voice in their head was like, oh, is history going to repeat itself? But your person, they're moving into this trust in knowing that you would never purposely hurt them. You would never purposely stab them in the heart because... Um, they they really feel that you are this really loving genuine like reflection of themselves you are the same you are very giving you've experienced the same um wounds cupid strikes yeah this person they 
really really know that you are this match this was like um the divine matchmaker brought you together this is dead on the mark this is spot on bullseye they've really been focusing on their heart okay um they love you very deeply and they've really been doing that healing work whether they consciously realize it or not can't they've been focusing on healing their heart working through these doubts or whatever gave them pause anxious yeah a lot of anxieties came in this is natural this will happen most likely many times over for both of you this is the path of the awakening heart and learning to open the heart destined love yeah your person here's another arrow that cupid's arrow or the divine brought you together that the cosmic matchmaker they know that this is destined okay again they know that this is a bullseye um and they're coming back into faith when it comes to that their true feelings yeah they're trusting they know that you are these twin flames this is a powerful transformation is occurring with this looking like a, a butterfly and deeper levels of union are unfolding very rapidly between you both an infinite soul bond union unconditional love intense soul lessons triggering yeah becoming one triggering is natural it is to make us go inwards to release the, our blocks. And that's happened or is happening in a major way. Jealousy, envy, sabotage, third party, mind games, interference, backstabbing, anger. So I feel like triggering has come up to do with um, jealousy or... You know, fears of abandonment, fears of rejection. For some of you, you could have interference from outside parties as well who are jealous of you and your person's light because you are light workers. And there could be jealousy surrounding your union because the love is powerful, the love is strong. This is like the dark energies trying to dim your connection and this is that protective energy as well. This is the wounded warrior with the nine of wands. This person, they want to protect you. They want to protect your heart, heal your heart from any sort of um, backstabbing energy from others. This could be to do with the wounds that they've experienced. But they're overcoming this okay they're overcoming this fear is what i was just gonna say fight flight or freeze excessive worrying stalling running avoidance sleepless nights thinking worst case scenarios yeah this is the pocket of density that your person temporarily got caught up in it's this fear will still linger for a while it will still be there um but again it's like a symptom of true love when we truly, deeply love someone, it does bring up all these triggers and fears, again, to be released. So they may have been holding back. I just saw this hinting. It says, hinting at feeling shy in their shell, indirect, hiding feelings, keeping their cards close to their chest, denial of feelings. This could all be that resistant, fearful energy um, that is it's releasing over time divine timing how do they truly feel right now you are always with me yeah this is a closeness returning in your connection you're going to feel this especially on the energetic level you're going to feel their heart opening and shining and they, you're going to feel their presence with you at all times and it's like that glowing energy that high vibration happy exciting tender energy yeah, because they've been feeling all over the place, thinking those worst case scenarios. They've, they've just come up, okay, like, um, but they're, it's like they're fighting that fear. And they're, they're coming to this place of knowing that ultimately they are the one themselves that's 
responsible for their own happiness. They don't want to place unrealistic burdens on your shoulders uh, for you to be, you know, responsible for their well-being. But, you know, obviously they still um, expect, like, respect or hope for, hope for that. And I feel like you are very respectful. That is why you have passed the test. Yeah, look, you make them feel safe to open up. You are this stable force. They see you as someone very, very mature who is actively trying to stay conscious and present and actively look after and protect their heart as they are opening their heart. They see you as someone what you want them to be happy. You want them to be free. You want them to be healed in their true self. And you are facilitating this safe sanctuary for your person to really open their heart and be who they really are and open it up to you. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look even deeper into what is going to unfold between you now. We're going to look at lots of messages cards as well, like what does your person really need you to know about their true feelings for you right now as well. And we're going to look at lots of messages from spirit. What do you need to know? So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment so I really hope to see you over there if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended